Oi pessoal, tudo bom? Meu nome é Marcos e eu sou um estudante e um missionário. Você se pergunta como é que isso é possível? Ah, eu explico. Ah, fiquei sabendo que vocês estão tendo um treinamento aí e a gente fica muito feliz com isso, porque é muito importante que a gente trabalhe isso, que é a missão estudantil. E o que é a missão estudantil? Nós, como cristãos, temos uma responsabilidade, que é de compartilhar o Evangelho de Cristo dentro das escolas e universidades onde nós estamos. E é por isso que a gente está aqui, para incentivar vocês que estão aí a continuarem nesse trabalho, que às vezes pode ser muito difícil. E... Queria te lembrar uma coisa, sabe o que é? A gente não está sozinho, porque esse movimento, a BU, faz parte de um movimento internacional chamado Comunicação Internacional. Mentira. Chamado IFS. Desculpa, muitas línguas aqui, tá complicado. Isso mesmo. Comunidade Internacional dos Estudantes Evangélicos. E a gente vai tentar mostrar para vocês um pouquinho disso ao redor do mundo, com algumas pessoas que a gente tem contato aqui na, na escola de missões que a gente faz parte, que é o Howard, aqui na Noruega. Tá bom, então espera um pouquinho que a gente vai trazer umas pessoas para vocês. Hi, my name is Londine and I'm from Madagascar. And uh, we have also an organization like uh, at UB. And the name is uh, UGBM. And uh, what makes UGBM special is that uh, we have a lot of trainings and uh, like uh, leadership trainings and uh, which makes our uh, organization special is that we have uh, mission mode trainings which aims at uh, having some trainings about how to preach to your students in your uh, university and how to preach with Muslims and I think that it's really important to have such uh, the trainings because so we cannot share God's word in an effective way if we don't get trainings and we must know God more than the others know so that we can share more and uh, I encourage you to attend the training and to be bold to to share and to really cherish the time that you have during this, tra uh, this uh, training and may God bless you and uh, may you have a wonderful uh, training session. Bye! Oi Brasil! My name is Mary. My name is Rebecca. We're from Norway. We want to tell you a bit how um, the organization, the IFS organization Lage works in Norway. Um, and a little bit. Sorry, no? how it's been in, in <laughs> Colombia because we have been to Colombia and lived there for six months and worked with the organization there. Uku. Unidad like. Cristiana Universitaria. Yes. Um, so in Norway, um, many of the groups are in like secondary school, so people are younger. The, many of the people are younger that are part of uh, Lage, which is the name Lage. Um, but we're very many, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and and uh, something that uh, Lage is saying is that. Um, not everyone goes to church, but everyone goes to school. So that's why it's very important for Lager to have meetings at the schools. Mm. And we think that's a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. Anything else about Norway? Well, we're mostly like um, we're mostly present in like secondary school and high schools. Not that much in universities, mm -hmm. as it is in Colombia, for example. We only work, almost only work in the universities. Yeah. Because uh, in Colombia, um, it's a bit different. Um, there are not so many, but that's um, that's uh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> but what's special about um, UCU in Colombia, and that we really like, is that they have uh, discipleship groups, uh, discipleship training, which is a program that is called Modulos, Modulo Uno, Modulo Dos, and up to six. Uh, six. Yeah. And uh, we have been a part of that. We have done the first two mod mod modules, <laughs> and um, and it's really really good discipleship training. And then they focus on that to make disciples, to to make to make servants. That's really good. And um, one other thing that we're doing that they're doing in Colombia is that they have this method. Method. It's called like the Swedish method. Method, and it's basically four questions. <laughs> it's basically four questions. And the first one is, okay, so what's caught your attention? Hmm. Second is, what's your questions to the text? Because first we read like one small part, one small Bible text. Yeah. Um, and the third one is, how can you apply this to your life? And the fourth is, who do you want to share this with? So it's four very simple questions and it's very efficient and you get a lot of interesting answers. 
I really, really like the Bible focus that's yeah. in Uku, Colombia. Yeah. Like. You girls have any message to the Brazilians who yes. have seen you? We yeah. want to say uh, thank you because we were in Brazil in December 2016 um, and um, we met some of some of the Abu people. In and, we were in Rio. Yeah, and they were so, so nice and they just welcomed us and helped us even though we didn't really know them. No, we actually we had kind of no idea who they were, just that they were people from Abu. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and they helped us and guided, like gave us tours and yeah. brought us to the um, how is this Christ the Redeemer, mm -hmm. and I don't know, showed us everything. And I know that some people they traveled hours just to be with us, to, just to help us, and we were so, so grateful. Yeah. It was great. We we wouldn't have been able to do anything no. I think, without them. So it's great. We're like a big family, yeah. like. Abu, Lage, Uku, 160 countries or something in the world. It's, IFES. Yeah, <laughs> IFES. It's, it's great. And so we just want to say say hi to you, our brothers and sisters yeah. in and Brazil. And thank you. Yeah. And I don't know, keep going. It's so important that we share the gospel yes. where we are. And right and now we're in the universities and we're in schools. And it's the best place to be, to yeah. share. But that's very important. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Ciao! Ciao! <laughs> Kiss <laughs> Hi, my name is Steven. I come from Focus, Kenya, and uh, I go to Hull. Uh, something about Focus, Kenya that uh, really interests me uh, is uh, national conferences. We have three national conferences uh, National Leadership Summit, which is all about leadership, and then we have Ezra Conference which is Discipleship and Bible uh, Conference. And then we have Commission, which is actually happening this December. And uh, it, it is all about evangelism and uh, missions. And uh, during the conference, uh, university students will be encouraged to go forth and uh, preach, not just to uh, the university, but also to the unreached people groups in Kenya. And uh, that is so fun, yes. And many students are in for that. Yes, so I wanted to tell you that we are all part of a huge family and that in Kenya, 45,000 students meet in 140 or 160 different gatherings at least once every week to do that which you're doing there in Brazil. So be encouraged and uh, we are one big family in IFES. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs> Hi, my name is Uda. I'm from Norway and I'm a student and I was in Nepal and working for NBCBS. Hi, my name is Emuna. I'm from Nepal and I've been in Tansford. Now I'm in Norway. So I'm working with NBCBS since many years, almost five years. Okay. Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm 19 years old from Norway and I'm also like uh, studying culture. And I was with uh, Uda in Nepal six months. Yeah. And I, I was working with NBCBS, or I'm working still with NBCBS since uh, five years or four years. Well, it's been five years now. So what we do in the NBCBS is full form of NBCBS is Nepal, Bisto Bidale, Christian Samgati. So it's, it's all over the Nepal. We have a different kind of local group. It's called CBS. It's a Christian Bidati Samgati. So I'm from the west part. It's the Butul CBS. So I was working there with the local group and we made a Bible group, Bible group there in the, with the different charts with the different student and we do the fellowship in the university like uh, prayer cell, like we make the little group of prayer cell. So we pray like every week or the once a month or whatever we can make. So we do like this way. So I don't know. they what kind of experience they had mm -hmm. in Nepal, so let's hear. Yeah, uh, from, from our experience we were participating in some prayer meetings, uh, so we had prayer points we could pray. Uh, and what I like liked about CBS, uh, the local CBS, was that they, they arranged futsal tournament. So they had like, uh, futsal is like small football, and they had like tournaments, so to create fellowship within the students. Um, and that was a really nice way because then other Christians came too who were not from CBS, but they could like they got to know about CBS. So I thought that was a really nice way to like have fun and have fellowship, and it's for students. So.
so that was really nice. And there are also people in Nepal who are in TBS are very engaged and they want to they want to have good things, they want to pray, they want to be in fellowship with other Christians. So that's that was nice for me. <laughs> there was one sometimes where we have Bible groups as well. It was really nice. We uh, we got the chance to be Bible group leaders and you know, it was a little bit challenging because of the language, but we took our time and they took their time as well to like understand us and then we tried to talk a little bit Nepali, so it's like nice culture meeting. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we learned and learned from each other and talked to each other and some people translated from Nepali to English mm -hmm. and English to Nepali, so we got <laughs> to connect with people. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to see how Despite of the different cultures and countries, we are still one family in Christ. Mm. That's really nice. <laughs> and we pray for each other, even mm. though we're in different cult uh, countries. <laughs> yeah. Beside of that, we have also different kind of camp, like regional camp. We make different regional camp once a year, and uh, in the through the local group, we make the different camp like once a, once a year, like. Like we always invite the Christian uh, student from the different university and the different church, and then they, if possible, they can invite the non-Christian. They are like kind of mission week, but not like mission week here in Norway. But it's a little different. But it's we can do it once a year. So it will be for three days. It's so far fun, and the, like we have a different kind of teaching and different kind of. Uh, uh, different kind of uh, preaching about the Bible and how we can reach the non-Christian people and the the, way, the different way, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was really nice. So we are so happy <laughs> to be the part of the NDC through the IFES movement, mm -hmm. yeah. So whatever you are doing, if you are a lot of people or if you are a few people, just know that the work is really important and because we need to reach students, because they're not all students go to church, but a lot of students go to school. So that's a really nice area to reach people. And yeah. you're not alone. Keep your yeah. spirit up. Yeah. yeah. Dream a sea. Então é isso, pessoal. Espero que através desse vídeo você tenha percebido que você não está só e que nós somos parte de uma família muito maior. Beijos e até a próxima. Tchau, tchau.